Well, it's almost time for children to head back to the classroom. In fact, uh, some are already back there. They sure are, but not every student has the essentials to start the year off right. Angela Ingram shows us how a team effort is helping students walk with confidence. The signs for back to school sales are starting to creep up in stores. Shoe Carnival is hoping to sell a lot, but also hoping to collect shoes and socks for children. The kids definitely have a need. We see kids in here every day that are coming in with beat up shoes and their parents just don't have the money. Shoe Carnival stores around our region are helping fill that need with a shoe and sock drive. These bins are in the stores. It's a partnership, a team effort to make sure when students get back to class, they start the year off right. It's my passion to be able to give back to anybody and also just to be able to see a smile on the children's face. Um, without a smile on their face, I won't have a smile on mine. So just being able to be able to make sure that no ch child goes back to school without any shoes or the necessities that they are in need of. Cincinnati Police Department is helping with the project. Bins are set up at CPD's districts for donations, and CPD's youth cadets are part of the effort, making it a competition to see who can bring in the most shoes and socks to help others. Well, when you don't have the right shoes, you don't have the right confidence to do your schoolwork, and you think you're being looked at differently, so you want everybody to be equal, and um, confidence is key in school. They may get made fun of or be looked at differently than other students and we don't really like bullying or we don't want people look, being looked at differently. What we wear on our feet should not define us, but for some children, a nice pair of shoes can make all the difference when they step into the classroom. In Coleraine Township, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. And the shoe and sock drive is going on now through August 16th. Volunteers with Living Proof will distribute them to the schools.